Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Great Handyman's Home Remodeling Videos. This is part four of Daisy's Bathroom Floor and Tub. When last we met, we had done all the sides and everything here, and now we're about to approach the top. I've been here for a little while, and I've prepped some underlayment here, and I've gotten my faucet nice and tightened down, and I made sure, after I put some tile on here, that the faucet still grabbed these threads. I'd hate to get it all glued on there, and then find out that we have a problem. So it's all ready to go. We need to tile all this now. I also bought some 3 by 12 bullnose tile. It's going to go along the top right here, as you can see. But we'll show you a close up of that now. So I've taken my first two bullnose tiles and I've cut 45 degrees on them. They'll be going right along here. Just like that. So I need to fill in this area with mortar. These tile right here I've already cut in advance all the way over to the wall almost. And so and the tiles going this way are also cut. So all we need to do is, is set these tiles. This is kind of critical right here. You don't want any mortar sticking through right here. We're going to want grout to fill in this crack line. So I'm using my finger to completely wipe it away. So even after I push the tile down, if it starts to ooze, it shouldn't ooze that far. Okay, and we've got this next one ready to go. And like I said, once again, I'm gonna smash this together and see that ooze through. That way I can get it with my finger. Push it back apart and it sucks back down in there. Take some of my spacers here. It's almost impossible to drill a round hole into tile. It can be done, but it's just a no fun task. So instead of using a whole full tile here that would have gone way past my faucet, I've just split the tile in half. That way I can easily cut out the area that is required for the faucet. You can probably see there's backer board here, but there's not here because it's a little bit less than a quarter inch. This particular support is higher than the rest of it was. So I'm going to leave it blank and just fill it in with mortar and it should work out just fine.
I'm kind of breaking my own rule here about having two dark tiles next to each other. But uh, after I put four of these little strips on, I'll be on the other side of the tub. And I want to have some variation in color. So I guess we're going to live with it. Remember, we don't want space, like a spacer space, between the bullnose tile. Only the, the inside tile and the field tile. These need to touch each other to complete that finished look. Alright, let me back up a little bit and show you this and not be so darn close. Okay, that just about does it for the front edge of this thing. And you see I had to start there because it was the width of these bullnose tile that was going to determine where everything else landed. I would have enjoyed starting in the back there and working forward, but I just couldn't land exactly where I wanted to that way. So we're going to have to let that dry and set up. And then we'll be continuing the back and the wall over there. So that's going to wrap it up for today. We need to allow for some drying time. Thanks for watching Great Handyman's Home Remodeling Videos. This has been part four of Daisy's Bathroom Floor and Tub. Thanks for watching.